I'm Mimi and today I'm going to share with you my tips and advice for starting your very own Patreon so you can start earning money from your art and content. If you don't already know, Patreon is a membership platform where you can offer your audience exclusive benefits each month that they can pay to access and it's a really great way to offer extra goodies to your most engaged audience members whilst building a reliable income. For me, Patreon is my largest and most stable income stream each month, so naturally I want to share with you my tips for starting your own. This video isn't sponsored by Patreon or anything, I just really like the platform. So here's how it works. First, you need an audience. It doesn't have to be huge and you can always start small and grow over time, but you do need people to refer to your Patreon. Then you need to decide what benefits and tiers to offer your audience and figure out how to price them. You can then set up your Patreon page to be beautiful and enticing and start uploading your benefits. And then you can market to your audience that you have a Patreon, what's on offer and encourage them to join. So let's dive a little deeper into each of those. How big does your audience need to be to start a Patreon? Obviously there's no right answer to this, but basically you either need quite a lot of people seeing your content or a small but really engaged community. I've seen it said that quite often creators on Patreon see a 0.1% conversion rate from their social media audience to patrons, meaning that for every 1000 people you have in your audience on your social media platforms, roughly one of those will convert to a patron. This is of course a super general rule, but it's been pretty accurate for me that as my audience has grown, roughly 1 in 1000 convert over to being patrons. A big factor in that conversion rate is what benefits you offer on Patreon and how much value those benefits have to potential patrons. So as I've improved my tiers, my conversion rate has improved as well. So how do you know what benefits to offer on Patreon? To have a successful Patreon, you need to understand what your audience would be willing to pay for access to, and this could be different for everyone. They might want to learn from you or see exclusive behind the scenes or have access to live streams. Think about what would be really valuable to your audience and if you're not sure, you can always ask them. My advice would be to write down a list of all the things you think your audience would really like to access from you. Then go through that list and remove all of the things you aren't comfortable committing to making every month. From what you have left, you can decide whether to offer all of those things or just some of them and whether to offer them as one tier or across several, keeping in mind that you can always start simple and add tiers later on. But then how do you decide on a price for those tiers? That's totally up to you and the benefits you want to offer and there's a few ways you can go about pricing your tiers. You could just start with one tier at a medium price point and see how you go or you could offer a few tiers. A popular method and the one that I use is to have three tiers. One at a low price point of just a few dollars, one at a medium price point of between five and ten dollars, and one at a slightly higher price point of around ten to twenty dollars. Consider what kind of value people would want for paying for each of these tiers and assign benefits to them that your audience would enjoy and ideally that they would be happy paying for each and every month. A really important thing to keep in mind here though is not to overcommit because you'll need to create these benefits each month and it'll likely take a few months for your Patreon to get off the ground. So you know what tiers and benefits you want to offer, how do you build an enticing Patreon page? A good place to start is to look at other creator pages and be aware of what you like about their Patreon page. What is it that makes you want to join their Patreon or what is it that puts you off joining? Do a bit of research, not to copy what others are doing, but to be aware of your own thoughts as a potential customer of theirs. Once you're ready to set up your own Patreon, you want it to reflect who you are as an artist. So take the opportunity to illustrate some assets to use on your main page. Create a banner and make sure you upload a profile picture. To me, it makes a big difference when each tier has an illustrated icon for it. And I really like when the tiers are themed rather than being called tier one, two, and three. Now the about section is your opportunity to introduce yourself, what your Patreon is all about and what you hope to offer people. Be personable and explain what value they'll get from your Patreon. And I think it also helps to explain a bit about how Patreon works as well because a lot of people won't have used the platform before. I like to make sure people know that although it's a membership platform, they're very welcome to just join for one month and they can cancel anytime. 
You also have the opportunity to add photos and a video to your about section, which can also help people understand the platform and what you offer. I only had text in my about section for my first year on Patreon and just added the video explainer quite recently so you can always start with what you've got and upgrade some things later. It can take a little while to set up your main page, especially if you're illustrating tier icons and a banner, but I think it's so worth it because this is a page where people will decide whether to become a patron or not. So now you have a beautiful page and some great benefits, how do you actually get patrons? Well, quite simply, you need to tell your audience about it. Use whatever platform you most often engage with your audience on to let them know that you have a Patreon now, how it works and what value they can get out of it. Patreon has a feature that lets you run special offers for a limited time, so you might consider offering something special for your launch to encourage more people to give it a go. You might not get many people joining straight away, and that's okay. Keep letting your audience know that you have a Patreon, share on your Instagram stories some behind the scenes of you making benefits, mention that you have a Patreon at the bottom of your captions, whatever feels right for you and your audience. If you find that your audience isn't joining your Patreon at all, then it might be time to reassess what benefits you're offering. Perhaps the price is too high for the benefits on offer, or maybe the benefits are just something they're not really interested in. You can always reach out directly to your audience and ask them for feedback. Now I have a few general things that I've learned from having a Patreon that I want to share with you. First, it's a long game. Unless you have a massive audience, you're not likely to get an influx of paying patrons who will pay your bills every month. But keep growing your audience and keep improving your Patreon and it should steadily grow over time. I've had my Patreon for over a year now and the growth is pretty clear. Secondly, people will leave. Although Patreon is a membership platform, you're going to have a lot of people who just want to join for one month and that's fine. Each and every month I have people join and I have lots of people leave too. Some of them leave for good because what I offer isn't a good fit for them and some of them leave knowing they'll come back in a few months. Remember that everyone has a different financial position, so although for some people paying you $5 a month for the benefits you offer is no big deal, for some people it's a big investment so they might not be able to stay every month. Don't be alarmed when someone leaves, be excited that they chose to invest in your content for the time that they did. And also you can always change things. Although it's a bit awkward to change what you're offering on Patreon once you have paying members, if the benefits aren't working for either you or your community, you can change them. What you set out in the beginning doesn't have to be how it is forever. The final thing I wanna share with you in this video is ideas for Patreon benefits you could offer as an artist to get you started in case you aren't sure where to begin. You could offer access to a Discord server where you can all connect together, a mailing club where you mail out some of your art each month, phone wallpapers or other digital downloads of your art, physical products you've made like stickers or pins, access to live streams of you creating art, one-on-one -on -one chatting or tutoring sessions, discounts to your products or stores, shout outs on your social media platforms, art tutorials and guides, newsletters of what you're up to, sneak peeks of projects, time lapses of your process, vlogs or video tutorials, access to polls, sketchbook tours, and well, pretty much anything else you can think of. So those are my tips for starting your very own Patreon. You can find the link to my own Patreon in the description if you'd like to take a peek. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.